Hello VC, I'm back to do a recent vinyl finds and this one is going to be almost entirely jazz. So if you don't like jazz, play another VC video, I don't know. <laughs> the first one, the, the, the not so jazzy one uh, that's playing in the background is The End of the Game by Peter Green in 1970, I think this was released. Uh, first German press of this one on Reprise Records, fantastic blues. Jazz and experimental, it's really, really cool. Mm. Okay, yeah. Um, and I mean, the cover is just, it's a classic cover, isn't it? Highly recommend it. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so I have a lot of jazz to show you. I have the, I, I went to, to Malmö two months ago, bought some jazz there, and I'm going to show you some or one. I uh, went to Stockholm like two or three weeks ago with Critic with Anders. I'm going to show you one, some of those. And I got a big, huge haul with records for free. 300 jazz records and 300 classical music records. Um, and some of them I kept that I thought was interesting, cleaned them, played them, and if I like them, they go into the collection. I'm going to show them. The ones that I didn't like, I set aside. I'm going to show them in another video in the future. If anyone wants to trade or something like that, or else I just give them away to, to friends and or sell them if they're worth them. I don't know. Okay, so first one, a Stockholm find by recommendation of Anders Blues work by Per Henrik Wallin, Tobi Hurkant and Erik Dahlbeck, piano, bass and drums. Erik Dahlbeck, uh, Dahlbeck the drummer, uh, was in or is in uh, Flesig Brynner. And Flesig Brynner, I saw them the last weekend playing live uh, with Eric Dolbeck on, on drums. Really, really good. One of the best concerts I've ever been to. Uh, but then again, Eric Dolbeck plays better on this one and then he did, uh, he's a little bit older now. This is from 1982, so 30 years, 32 years old. But yeah, uh, free jazz live recording with a hint of Swedish folk music, at least in my opinion. I don't know, maybe i hearing wrong, but yeah, another one. This is uh, uh, one of the free ones that I got in the hole. Um, it's Budrich and Lionel Hampton, Ted Wilson, Sue Sims, and George uh, Duvier, 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 something like that. <laughs> Transition. Easy to find, cheap if you find it, but man oh man, get it. It's awesome, especially the fourth track on the first side called Ham Hock Blues. Really, really good. But then you go into FUM and EG on the second side, two songs on the second side. Killer, I mean, fuck me. Budrich is playing his guts out on the drums, and all of the players are really, really good. Uh, yeah, highly recommended. Check it out if you find it for a good price. Don't hesitate. Ben Webster, Mena at Montmartre, at the Montmartre. I don't know if you pronounce it like that, but with Kenny Drew. Nilsson Austin Peterson and Alex Riel, Alex Riel, I don't know, uh, on drums. Uh, this is the Momat uh, Jazz House in Copenhagen, recorded in 1965 and released in 77. And he did a, a whole series of these uh, midnight at Momat, uh, afternoon at Momat, uh, and morning or something like that. So he had, I guess, like a couple of weeks playing at the, the Jazz House in Copenhagen. Really good, nice recording, uh, good sound. Uh, a keeper. This is a Malmö find, a Ferris Sanders uh, Tembi, Tembi uh, with Michael White, Don Liston Smith, Cecil McBee, Clifford Jarvis, James Jordan, and Roy Haynes. Uh, second or third press, 1987 uh, kind of feel, but it, this is, I guess, a classic uh, one uh, by Ferris Sanders. It would be cool to have an original, but I mean, I found this for a great price. So, I have Astral Traveling on the first side, uh, Young Coltrane 68. I don't know if you took it from this this one, I don't know, the, the last uh, nickname that they had. Uh, but the title track, Tembi, Love and Morning Prayer, I thought was really, really good. Uh, great record, highly recommended, but most of you already know about it, I guess. Uh, this is maybe one you don't know about. This was from the free lot, uh, Swinging Friends with Jesper Tiliu Quartet, Jesper Tiliu, Tiliu, with Kenny Drew, Mats Winding and Billy Hart. 
on piano, bass, and drums. There's the lineup there. If there's anything you want to know by, by, about the records and stuff like that, just ask me in the comments field and I'll, I'll, I, I, can't, I don't have time to edit in names and, and records and stuff like that. I'm sorry, but yeah, just ask me and I'll, I'll answer. Um, I can't really remember this. 1980 recordings, released 1981, produced by Kenny Groove. I can't really remember how this sounded. I have to go back to that, but it was one of the ones that I want to keep, so I found something in it that was worth putting into the collection. Paul Desmond, Skylark on CTI, also a free one, featuring Gabu Sabu, uh, Ron Carter, Jack Jeanette, and Gabu Chabu on guitar, plays all the solos on this one. CTI 1973, really good. Yeah, and that's, that's really inexpensive, it's really cheap, so yeah, check it out if you find it. This one, I was so glad to find this in the free bunch. Grooving with Sal Martinez featuring uh, Rune Gustafsson and Sture Nodin on guitar and bass. Sal Martinez plays congas. Uh, recorded 1968 between the 2nd and 3rd of April. And you have Anders Burman on uh, as a producer of this. And the story goes, they had a session with uh, this sing-songwriter called Cornelius Friesvik. I talked about him in the last video. Now, and uh, they were paid to, to record with him. Now, he didn't show up that morning to record uh, the songs. So, I guess Anders Burman just said, hey, let's record a record. And, and I don't know if Sam Martins had some songs or standards uh, that he knew or they knew. So, they just started recording. And the result is this one. Sam Martins first solo record, 1968. I mean, fantastic. So much energy. Perfect sound quality. Rune Gustafs on guitar is just amazing. And when you know about this and you hear the song Somnia Gormetrasia Score by Cornelis that they recorded after this, the same lineup, you hear the exact same kind of production, the, the sound of the, the, the record and the song. Um, just fantastic. And a cool story too. Next one, also a keeper, a uh, free one, due by Kennedy and Nils Henning Östed Pedersen <laughs> on bass. So you have piano and bass, just two guys playing like that setup, I guess, something like that. Uh, recorded 1973 in Copenhagen. And yeah, not my, not my cup of tea. I mean, just two instruments, just can't keep me awake for two sides, but then again, it's interestingly enough, so I'm going to keep it in the collection. Um, I need more of those kind of records to just broaden my horizons, I guess. Gary Mulligan meets Johnny Hodges on Verb Classics, 1980, kind of re-release, recorded in um, this I thought this was really, really good, especially Gary Mulligan's baritone sax playing, uh, combined with the the alt sax that Johnny Hodges plays, and Gary Mulligan almost makes it sound hard to play the baritone sax. Uh, it sounds like he's struggling to get the, the notes out of the instrument, and I found it that really, really interesting. Fantastic, fat sound on the baritone sax. So. That's why I'm, I'm keeping that. Uh, Nisi Sandstrom, tenor sax, uh, home cooking is the the, the name of the red, uh, album with Red Mitchell and Tommy Flanning on, on bass and piano. 1980, record 1980 in uh, Nisi Sandstrom, that guy there, his uh, apartment living room, set it on the liner notes. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's interesting. It's 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 cool. I have Nisi Sandstrom's The Painter record. I uh, had it in the background for, for long, uh, uh, kind of a rare uh, Swedish ra jazz record. Uh, so so this is like almost 10 years after that, something like that. Uh, not as good as the painter, but yeah, interesting. Free record, keeper. Ben Webster meets Don Bias. A lot of Ben Web Webster in this free lot on MPS records. And there's the the guys that's playing on this one also on the background or backside uh you have t uh, t t t t montulio 
Pete Trunk and Al Heath. Uh, Record 1968 on MPS. Yeah, I don't know if you know the. You probably know the. There's the label there. German, I think. Um, yeah, a good, good one. Not the best uh, Ben Webster record I've, I've heard, but uh, good one. Enough to get itself into the the collection keeper for now. Other afternoons with Jimmy Lyons. Lyons, uh, 1980 release recorded, and I guess late 60s, you know, 70s as. Uh, the original one was from BYG Actuel, so a part of that series. Series. So this is the, the reissue. Same track listing, uh, just another another cover. Uh, sounds great. Uh, yeah, great free jazz. Uh, I don't know if it's in intro, intro, but free at least. Um, yeah, highly recommend it if you like the free jazz. I, I, I think it's highly recommended. I don't know. Maybe it's not. <laughs> uh, a recommendation from Anders when I was in Stockholm. Uh, Transition by On Cold Train. Uh, it's the quartet with Emma Kotheiner, Jimmy Garrison, and Lynn Jones. Recorded 1965, released 1970, uh, post mortem. And uh, this was released or recorded just months after the Love Supreme record. Um, so I guess the same, same lineup. I think it's the same lineup. McCoy Tyner and Elvin Jones, at least. I know it's on Love Supreme. This is on the ABC Info, so it's the second press uh, with the kind of greenish uh, label. I won't show it. You guys know about it. Um, yeah, really good free jazz record, but not as spaced out as on Some Ship. Um, I, I read this, so so I mean not, but. I can really hear the the transition between I mean the, how he's trying to move forward after Love Supreme and before the real really free stuff uh, in, the, in the later of his career. Great, thank you, Anders, for the recommendation. And the last one I'm going to show you today is Soulmates, also a free one that I got from the lot by Ben Webster and Joe Samuel, released 1979-80. Recorded 63 when Joe Samuel was living uh, with Ben Webster, who um, was sleeping on his sofa. Um, yeah, great, really, really, uh, just standard, just, just standard jazz kind of thing, with Sam Jones, Richard Davis, and Philly Joe Jones on drums. But uh, it's interesting with Joe Samuel's playing because it's more standard jazz piano than the, the more fusion stuff that we know him to play uh, afterwards. Um, it's more standard, but it's early in his career, so I mean, I guess he's still learning and practicing and just doing his stuff before doing a solo thing uh, later on. And that's uh, probably why they released this. Uh, long after it was recorded on Riverside. But uh, if you find sheep, it's interesting. If you like Yul Samuel or ben, ben Webster, so check it out. 13 minutes, that's all from me. Uh, as I said, if you have any comments, if you have any questions about the records, please comment uh, and I will answer them. Um, and I'll see you soon. I have a, a lot of more jazz, prog, rock stuff, uh, but in another video. Have a great day everybody, bye.